Before I get on the open road, I do several things. First of all, I utilize the T-Clocks method, which means I'm checking my tire pressure, my gauges, I'm checking the bike over to make sure it's safe and roadworthy. If it's a really nice day, I might just wear a riding jacket and a helmet. I have an app that I use called Kalimoto. It shows me like a round trip of the twistiest roads in the area. But man, you gotta gear up, right? They have, what's the saying? Dress for the slide, not the ride. Check the oil. Make sure the tire pressure is good. You know, kick around the things that I know that usually get loose, especially uh, on a Harley. Make sure all the fluids and everything's right, air pressure, things like that. You know, I tend to be an all the gear all the time type of a rider. You check your tires, you check your uh, controls, your lights, your oil pressure, your chassis, and your kickstand. I always ride with gloves, man. I don't know something about being the medic in the ER at Womack in Fort Bragg and seeing road rash come in there. It's kind of fixed me on some things. I get myself ready by uh, listening to a little music, make sure I'm in a happy place. I try to ride happy. First and foremost, I always check the tire pressure. You know, if, if you've been out there and had a, had a flat on a motorcycle, it's, it's, it's an event. Uh, it's a scary event. So make sure my visors are clean. Always bring a dark and light visor just in case I get stuck out at nighttime. Let someone know where you're going. I think that's really important. If, you go, if you're one of those guys like me that sometimes just likes to ride solo, I think it's crucial that uh, you tell a loved one, someone that you care about, a friend or family member, uh, what you're going to do that day as far as where you plan on riding.